it's no secret. Recently, J.C. Penney changed. Some changes you liked, and some you didn't. But what matters? North Texas-based J.C. Penney has been riding the retail roller coaster, trying anything to get shoppers back in the stores, and that that includes a we're really. Really sorry, ad campaign. Chris Kraft is here to talk about it tonight. Chris is the president, the CEO, co-founder of Splash Media. We appreciate you being here tonight. My pleasure. All right, before we get into this, the discussion, we want to take a, a little look at what else J.C. Penney is saying. But what matters with mistakes is what we learn. We learned a very simple thing: to listen to you, to hear what you need to make your life more beautiful. Come back to J.C. Penney. They want people in the stores. Is the I'm sorry working? Yes. Okay. It is. Uh, we measure social media conversations, mm -hmm. and according to our data, uh, it's working. Uh, a lot more people are talking about J.C. Penney, and they're saying positive things. So, when the campaign started yesterday, we saw a 414 percent increase in people talking about the brand. Okay, that's a. And we can look. The numbers are on the screen. That's a huge increase about just J.C. Penney just being in the conversation, but. Just because the company's in the conversation, does that mean people are going into the doors of the stores? It's too early to tell that, uh, but it is a good indicator, uh, an early indicator for us if, if people are talking in a more positive light. So we saw after the campaign, uh, there were about 15% of the conversations were positive, and after the campaign, uh, that jumped to 30 percent. So almost twice as many people are talking uh, positively about the brand today. But looking at your graph, the negative comments seem to be staying about the same. That's a good thing. That's a good sign. As, as opposed to negative going up. It's okay Correct. if it just kind of stays so, where it so is? Sometimes when volume of conversations go up, the negative rises at the same rate right. as the positive. And uh, the message is resonating with consumers. People, people like the old J.C. Penney back. So I'm wondering if they're getting it because I look at this, the ad that they did, and a lot of the, the comments that I was reading on social media, people are like, who are they marketing to, the 20-somethings mm -hmm. or the people who are closer to 50? And that's me, you know, shopping as a kid at JCPenney's, mm -hmm. and, you know, that's where mom used to take us back to school. Mm -hmm. But I look at the ad, and I, I appreciate the I'm sorry, but the people in the ad are sure. the young 20-somethings. You know, I think the imagery and the messaging is probably going to be fine-tuned uh, okay. over time here. They've got a new agency involved and a new CMO. So... Um, what, what the message, core message, was that uh, they were saying they're sorry, they were being humble, they mm -hmm. were putting a sort of a human uh, tone and a human trait into the messaging, and that's really important, and I think people are going to forgive them. Uh, that's human nature, too, yeah. and so saying they're sorry was step number one. Well, I think it's important, and it's different, because it seems like nobody anymore says, I'm sorry, because then uh, people just want to blame, I think, too easily. It was somebody else's fault, the former CEO's fault, the customer's fault, whatever. It's never our fault. It's rare. Uh, Domino's was real successful in 2009. They, they looked up and realized their sales were declining, and they listened to their audience, and their pizza stank. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> then they changed it. They made they it did. better. And the CEO <laughs> got on TV and said our pizza was bad yeah. and made a big commitment to, to doing a better, better. job. And, now it's a huge success story, so they turned it around, and I think J.C. Penney's on their way. Well, yeah, the first thing to do, I guess, is say I'm sorry, but there's got to be a plan. I don't know if that's bringing coupons back or, or what it is, but there's got to be now the plan. They've got to deliver. Well, you know, it's interesting. So One of the conversations that helped move that uh, positive sentiment up is they are, they are bringing coupons back. They're listening. And so not only are they listening, but they're acting, and coupons is a huge huge spike in that positive uh, sentiment for them. So It definitely gets people in the door. I, I got one today on my email. Get 15% off. Well, and okay. whether the CEO likes it, uh, couponing may be part of the JCPenney brand. And so uh, I think it was smart for them to listen. Well, you know, what's funny is, and I didn't know that we were doing this interview tonight, but this is a JCPenney skirt, and I have not been in a store in mm -hmm. ages for whatever reason, but I had to go to another store in the mall, so I had to walk through the J.C. Penney, and I started looking around. I thought, okay, and it was a great price. The people were nice. I'm like, I'll get it, and that is actually going to get me, I think, back in the store again. I think once I, I took a step in there and kind of saw maybe they are changing. Sure, a it's it's not an exact corollary, but imagine people in their Facebook feed or on Twitter mm -hmm. hearing some one of their friends saying a positive thing about right. J.C. Penney now. Right. Uh, that might make you set, you know, have a second thought about. If you see it in the mall, you might step in. So I think, uh, I think the social campaign with the messaging in the spot was a very smart move. People are talking. They are. All right, Chris, thank you so You're much. Welcome. Chris Kraft, Splash Media, thanks for coming in.